You're a business owner looking to create the perfect workplace for your team? Stick with us because today I'm going to be creating a workplace for Frozen District team and doing so I'm going to share with you some great workplace design inspiration and tips and tricks through this informative house flipper walkthrough. Hello there everyone, if you're new here, first of all, welcome to Southern TV. I'm an interior designer by career and content creator by passion. So if you're looking for interior design inspirations, guides and tips and tricks, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be sure not to miss any of it. I'm really excited about this project because as said earlier today, I'm gonna be designing a workplace for house flipper game devs as a way for me to thank them for the support they showed me lately which really means a lot, so without further ado, let's cut through the chase and hop into the floor plan for this project. So for this project I decided to go with the unsatisfying effect house and try to transform it into a satisfying workplace. See what I did there? <laughs> anyway. In order to achieve that effect, I had to start by destroying the entire interior walls which already removes some of that initial unsatisfying effect and gives us a great space to work with. The first step is gonna be to list all the spaces needed in a workplace for the house flipper dev team which are gonna be a reception, a meeting room, an open workplace with a kitchenette, a chilling area, a game testing room, a streaming and recording room, a CEO office and most importantly a gallery hallway connecting all the rooms and exposing the best interiors made by the players such as in this case Nicholas Connor and sorry if I butchered the name Esther van der Lucht. Since Frozen District team is mostly made of young people, I'm going for that silly extravagant industrial design style with the use of elements such as the popping colors and textures, the framing on the floors with the directions to the different rooms and the diagonally positioned lights. I leave you now with the speed build of the project with written tips and tricks, hoping you enjoy and learn some stuff from it and we'll talk to you all later.
That was all for today's episode. If you enjoyed and have any questions about the design, don't forget to comment and I'll answer you as soon as possible. And if you want to support the channel, subscribe, hit the bell and stay tuned on Sharpen TV for more interior design content, inspiration, tips and tricks and more to come. Music